blue white control one minute and a half well, actually 64 players for a pioneer except i need to make one cut from the main and i'm not sure what it should be move that narset to the sideboard maybe i could cut a three steps ahead i could cut up the one up sensor maybe I've got one of the spot removal spells not too too sure yeah, I just play one three steps ahead. On the die roll, which is nice. We don't call her walk in the chat. Do you have the Sunfall in the list? Is Sunfall not an auto add? Was Vein Ripper gone? No, I don't think so. Think cheaper is better. All right, they're also mulliganing to six. Um, let me have the extreme decker. Let me check to see if I can find all history on their pioneer list. Very similar to what I played the other day. I made a few tweaks. Boom. All right. Pioneer abs and grease fang. Before that, Boris convoke abs and grease fang. So I'm going to assume abs and grease fang, meaning, I mean, either way, abs and grease fang, two basics, do you need double blue? Probably just get rid of the Wandering Emperor, not the greatest card in the matchup. Sentinel has Vigilance too, right? Yeah. I think no mat almost no matter what I'm playing, getting rid of Wandering Emperor is probably fine. Oh, right. My settings are off too. All right, does look like abs and grease fang. Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! Rusk! I guess I'll just shock now. This is just in case I draw one of my double blue cards. Because if I play planes and I draw a double blue card, I can't play field of rune and have like both up. Assuming I'm supposed to just counter whatever I can counter here. No Yorion. I'm not a huge, huge Yorion fan. All right, their latest list had one Plains, one Swamp. So I should go after this now. Yeah, let's say I modern in fire. The one settle, yeah, the one settle's been pretty solid for me. I like it too. Hence why I have it in my deck. It's kind of nice against Grease Fang sometimes. I caught full of the Storm Giant. I added a second anchorage just to have an extra source of light. I also cut a basic and added a pathway. Um, again, just to have a slightly better mana. That's my favorite. I don't have one favorite. I don't think so. I think the Mirage look pretty cool in their all black borders, but I don't know. There's a lot of, there's so many beautiful ones, honestly. I mean, the stream doesn't quite look right, but I think maybe the, the, the borders are a little off because I used to have an overlay and I'm not even sure we really need an overlay, like the little like lines in between and stuff. All right, there is a chariot in the yard. And I have four cards in hand. Uh, any basics in the yard? No. Our set is cheap way of finding cards, but it's just gonna die. It's just field of ring and deluge again. And. I just play Anchorage. How many rounds is a challenge? I think seven. Got 72 players. Pretty, pretty big. I, I really didn't expect, I didn't expect it to have like two fire, but not if these people are going to be double queuing or because there's a modern qualifier in one hour. Or I guess, I guess people are maybe still off modern right now. Um, I think I should just keep digging here with Deluge. 
Somehow, despite the upturn, not doing great getting banned. Now it's just all energy and people not loving it, maybe. Many people double Q. Yeah, but the modern challenge didn't fire there. Lockdown is kind of nice. It's going to be cheap. How many Busejo in probably one? Maybe two? One Busejo. Do you have any other way to get rid of a uh, lockdown in the main? No. Vito seems nice. And just a verdict, I guess. I have plenty of lands. Pretty solid spot here. Modern chat didn't fire because modern is still garbage. Yeah, that's what I figured. Because you would think people would rather double queue the same format, so easier maybe. And also the modern challenge started three hours ago, so kind of have time to do poorly and drop. Yeah, can't do much about it, but they don't have the big boy in the yard. You get kind of chain and chariots. No one is also early for Americans, true. Even for Euros, you know, one, maybe people are having like a little family launch on Sunday. Okay, they're down to three cards. Do I go after a Temple Garden or mean a Confluence? A nice draw. You could have land grease fang. Pretty unlikely. Not like they didn't draw grease fang until later this game. Gonna set a light on lands that can be played tapped. How big of a pain is this chair gonna be? I can exile it. They have a bunch of tokens. They have an anchorage to block the tokens. I don't know. Feels bad to like not use a veto here. Feels really bad not to use a veto here. I'm not like in that commanding of a spot. Grease Fang in 2024 Yellow Hat Pigeon. Yo, sometimes Jack, what's up? Let's get a resub. Appreciate it. Yeah, Grease Fang's all more popular than it was. Ooh. That's a good card in the matchup. Actually, it's it's fine. It's fine. Eight? Alright, Perhelion. Forget what I'm supposed to do about Perhelion. Flying Vigilance Crew 4. I mean, I have a Deluge in the yards. Just let them have it. If I didn't have Deluge, I'd probably go after it. Tapping an untapped plan sounds kind of nice. Kind of tunnel vision. Honestly, I didn't even really look at the rest. Tap minus. Veto plus three steps ahead plus moonlight should be good. How much time left? 18. Hey, trail. And look at that new desktop. Got the emotes working. Stream Decker is back. Yo, Macy. Uh, Grease Fang, I can double normalize. Uh, let's just see, go. Actually, I Deluge does double normalize, but it's whatever. Doesn't matter, obviously. Settle is nice insurance. Farewell to. Artifacts, creature, graveyard.
Alright, Macy. That fun was work. Oh no, I'm actually losing my tracer. Sensor. You're all XDD business now. Sometimes, you know, gotta know when to XDD time and gotta know when to XDD business. Close Lana or Zombie, try again. Try again. You're almost there. A little reverse action. Mountain port map tokens kind of nice. East time is too nice. I would have helped you out too. A little look see. I'm not even gonna bother honestly playing daughter to fairy. Just waste of time. Just have the hollow moonlight, if really I'm in a tight spot. Out in port two can draw at instant speed. Usually you find a way when you have why do you have sideboard cards in main deck? Because the meta, my friend. Poor Grease Fang, just random uh Oh like Caught in the crossfire was the moonlights and the settle in the main. Oh, they got me kind of low was the Winterbloom commands and a Shelly. All right. So they probably get more more grindy cards. Couple bangbusters, couple hearse maybe. They already have thoughts he's the rest in the maid in the main. Ashok seems kind of bad. Lantern is nice. Vito's probably nice. Typhoon could be okay. Lockdown was nice there in small numbers. Our set's pretty bad. It's also bad against Bangbuster. Not a ton to board out, honestly. Maybe Vito's is Vito is a little narrow, maybe? On the draw, especially. As Wandering Emperor is pretty mid, right? It's good when they have Lily to pressure the Lily. Lockdowns, yeah. All of them? They're kind of nice. They have Chariot Bangbuster. Chariot Token Bangbuster. Trim and Lockdown. Trim and Wandering Emperor. Settles all worse when they have Thoughtseize and, and Bangbuster as well, but might be good enough. Lockdown seems bad, really. The 2-1 be down can be annoying. Gets a token from the Kind of a soft counter to chariots and have bang buster all right i'll keep one in base that's kind of nice against some of their stuff veto oh i had kahira the whole game all right i get to keep seven i had to turn on sunken citadel without hurting my mana which is nice they're mulliganing. Can always help. Double like two mana counter spells really nice on the draw. Zero base I main. I think it's I think it might still be too weak and too many matchups, right? Yeah, you can cycle uh you can cycle with Citadel. No Foreman beat downs. Well, can't stay away value there. And I have to shock. Witterbloom commands. Brutality to see my hands. As well counter.
Okay, that'll be the uh, little giveaway. Let's go. Giveaway TY value. If you want an arena code for an M King booster. So I can't search and it exiles my graveyard. Doesn't do a ton. And I really need that fourth land drop, so on cause uh, Type T T Y value in chat if you want a chance at an arena code. Oh, they do get to self mail, right? Um, yeah, that's maybe a little loose to let that resolve when they're still on a resource, but also hitting land is obviously a big deal. And I haven't. All right, I'll give people another like 30 seconds and pick two winners. Valu, can you do like last time, I think? Just message people for me directly. Damn, that Rafine Informant just going all the way. Mailing me deck damage. Not the end of the world, but a little frustrating. All right, the winners are I6. Michelle Tassi and Riggs and Xerk. Hey, buddy. Uh, Grease Fang. I don't have a counter. I can't count these cards. Okay. They have two cards. And I'm at nine. And now I saved that march for uh, Grease Fang. I guess I'm going to have to kill that Rafine next turn because of the map tokens. Nah, nah, it's freelance in my opening hand too, and I cycle the sensor. Alright, so let's see. Let's see if they have another greasy boy. It's black green. No, oh, they hit grease fang. Rip. Oh man. Brutal. Brutal, I didn't, I don't have a free spell, right? And this is Vigilance. The angels have Vigilance. I go up to 11, take 13. I did really target chariots. I mean, I think I'm still like in pretty terrible shape, but. Why do you even exile? The chariot or the token, the chariot goes back to their hands. Are you just deluge? And what am I hoping for? Just deluge for verdict, I guess. Actually makes more sense. Go down to five. I'm in really bad shape, but. Gab, can I ask, were you testing your chat loud this morning? Yeah. No, I just routinely like to type the XDD appears in my chat for no reason. But I couldn't. It doesn't show for me in OBS. It drives me crazy. All right, there's a verdict. And I mean, not on my watch, kind of nice, but also do you need to make land drops at some point? You can get rid of a land. They haven't mailed anything yet though, so it doesn't make a ton of sense. Mild paid actor vibes here. I mean, I'm still in a terrible spot. They have Chariot in hand and two maps token and an Ashiok. Oh yeah, field over an Ashiok. Yeah, that would have been a little oopsie. Yeah, it makes it slightly less good, I would say. Just a bit. 
on fairway, I'm assuming they only have one in their deck because they haven't been milling. Yeah, I only have one. They didn't mill it right away. It was really good for them. All right, who do you exile here? The token or the actual chariot? I could have another chariot if I exile chariot. If I exile the token, they can't even crew it anymore. I could also just take it again and deluge. That seems like a little silly at this point, though. Maybe token. You think chariot, really? Maybe, yeah. Uh, I think it's always chariot. What they reveal? Grease thing? And they kept on top, right? That's not the grease thing that just. Maybe I'm supposed to deluge, try and find a removal or a lantern or something. A grease fan lets them crew. Never mind. All right, I'll just say go. So if I had exiled the chariot, I would be at nine. But they would have two two twos and a free free. And I would have a two two. So I'd be in a pretty similar spot, it feels. Field them, they have Ashok. I thought about it earlier, and then Chai was like, Gab, don't do that. It would not be a great play. Also, they have two basics in their deck, which they haven't drawn or mailed yet. It's kind of annoying, I'm exactly at free and no one more. Not sure what I'm looking for here. The lantern's a little late. Just put a march in my deck. See, this is kind of game where base I would be nice. Just randomly. Also just Wandering Emperor was gas. I mean, I mostly just got stuck on on Freelands was all fours and fives, which was rough. Also for some, I don't know why they brought back Chariot over um, Parhelion. That was really weird. I don't know what they were playing around. Do you plan to reveal your decks before next weekend for champs? 28 lands. Oh, I mean, I went up to 27 when I cut the sensors. I was at 26 with sensors and the use. But yeah. I think they wanted to bounce shards so they cast it after a sweeper. Yeah, but Perhelion was lethal. Maybe you can settle. Did I have settle mana? Yeah, I'm not sure. Game free. Yeah, going to game free. Mostly thinking about Basa. As a one of against the chariot, chariots, chariot draws. I don't know if it makes a ton of sense, but it's so weak to the Parhelion combo. But a lot of games probably do. Should probably have at least Wandering Emperor. Like, is not on my watch ever gonna save me from Perhelion? I exile the Perhelion and they get to keep two angels. Let's probably just lose. One Emperor is kind of nice. Brutal, brutal to Mulligan in this matchup too. Lockdowns for Chariot, Bang Buster, the 2-1. Kind of want to keep one high impact card, but questionable. Hmm. Second blue or second white, Deluge. I think I like countering that silly 2 1 on 2 or Bang Buster. Not keeping Teferi looks like it might pay off big time here. Who did were one of their basics too. It's big. Couldn't get really punished here, right? So they have Plains and Swamp. 
in response. Awkward. They don't deserve to mail their basic planes. They got a grease thing and they mail the chariot. What the hell is that, by the way? March, I kills planeswalkers. It's kind of nice. I get to like lantern. <clears throat> Probably just let it resolve if it's Grease Fang. Informant. I just don't have informant too. Maybe Narset's good enough with informant. I mean, it is tempting to field them when they're stuck on mana, but also if I just resolve to fairy here, it's kind of gross. Still have the lantern. I'll have no more lives mana up. Just have to make sure I went on time at this point. It's the only thing that matters. I entered the third field of rune. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I can hard cast. I don't think I need to. It's Wandering Emperor and Shark. Wandering Emperor kills really fast. I have plenty of time. Plus, I'm on the new rig. I'm not going to get lagged out. In his last words, trying to jinx it. Basic check. Should be good for me. Blue White Ponza, yeah. Tef Ultimate incoming too. A 2 2 or a Wandering Emperor. It's Wandering Emperor. Goaded hands. Oops. Oh, this is fine. Sensor. Lock it up. Should have attacked those Anchorage. That was not great, but whatever. Should have probably just used March here. But once again, don't matter. Old Man Tef still has it. Blow things down. What should I do? Flawless? Oh no, death cards in hand and a graveyard. Are we the last match? Oh, we are. Uh, I guess I should just kill them. Or not. Spoon and not scooping. I always say, like, people, people should go after my opponents. Not the one, uh, I'm not the one. Prolonging the agony here. <laughs> and the rise that Gab got a new PC. TGs. <laughs> Uh, all right, what might opponents be up to? Pioneer challenge. Oh, speaking of hidden strings, yikes. Well, that sucks. I checked yesterday challenge, it was only two total. There's one that won though. Anything crazy, one basic. Headquarters, where's the, oh yeah, four Proctor. I mean, hands fine. It's got a land, a field of lands, field of room, a counter, a deluge, one dead card. But I mean, I'm gonna have dead cards in this matchup. Ash, yeah, I have the Ashog. That's like the one card. Ash, I have the Narset main too. Surprised you don't like Sunfall. I've been losing to a mix list from the food decks post board. Uh. My reasoning was that I don't know, Vein Ripper is gone. So you don't need Sunfall. Could be wrong. I do think Sunfall is a pretty good magic card, but 
thing like the one extra mana against all the red decks doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but depends on the meta. I feel like that food matchup should be should be fine. Claudio likes Verde on lockdown too. Yeah. I mean, who knows if that mono red hype or these like red black, red green hype decks like survived uh, the next few weeks. That does seem like pretty solid though. They do their one basic. Maybe I should have countered that and then field of ruin. Seems kind of silly, even though it might be right. Mulch 5, yeah, I mean, doesn't matter that much if they draw the right cards. Tough matchup. Need to, like, make, keep making land drops here so they can never stage. That was really good for me. Wow, well, change the equation just being... Just being the goat here again. They should be out if they're playing the same list. I get to counter. Wait, they just have another stage. Or another charm. That's all slower though. That gives me time to dig. Anything I can dig to here? Does it make sense to main deluge? Not really. Time to draw another feel. It would have been nice. Could Hollow Moon like YOLO, but I think I'm in a fine spot. Not great, but I think this is this is definitely winnable. Normalize is nice. And then I guess doesn't matter. Okay, hard counter. Hopefully the Mulligan 5 starts catching up a bit here and Delvin's crying. So they get more mana? Oh, what's my game plan at this point? Just find all my hard counters in our set and log them out. What are the payoffs? According to Goldfish, two ultimatums, one tier, then the pours. I think you just let them spin spin their wheels there and then try to find Narset. It's probably the best card I can find right now. Because it means I don't have to counter pour over the pages anymore. It's like half, half the cards I have to counter. Yeah, just Delusion Moonlight, that's the plan. Then three steps ahead is like a super time walk. Change the equation is nice. And March for a year is not the worst. Let's take a land drop though. Maybe I should have drawn first, actually. Ooh. This is interesting. Four mana. Means they can hidden strings. And I still have two mana. And hidden strings for... They didn't really have time to sculpt their hand, just the one impulse. Oh, I've changed and no more lies. I can change hidden strings and still have no more lies for something else. All right, let's hope I didn't forget something obvious. I feel like I go for it in these spots and then it backfires, but I do feel like I have a reasonable hand to count hidden strings plus Lear. 10, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10. Can at least tab them out. Yeah, the pressure. The thing is, Deluge was awkward, right? The nice thing with Singo is I do have like hard cast three steps ahead, draw two, discard one, plus a two mana counter spell. So I'm probably getting good value out of mana now, but it feels like I should be fine against a realistic hand. You know, just unless their hands like double hidden strings. 
I would need to have double hidden strings plus a payoff to punish my line. Which is free card handy, you like my play? Yeah. Granted. Can you get like silence? Nev warming up? I can probably get like get a dispute. It's not a huge deal. I can get a silence. It's not a huge deal. Can't get a creature, right? Exile your hands. I mean, their latest list doesn't have it. Three steps ahead. Yeah, they could have four. They have five mana left. Yeah. Just hope they don't. They didn't just add thought distortion. It's not like control is at an all time high right now. Like people just have the creatures from OK, even the two two four two, Grand Abolisher. Like they only have one granted. They're not gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna put a thought distortion in my sideboard for the scenario where I resolve a granted against control and can't get creatures. Was that only non creature? Can I get some O sevens in chat for my old desktop or whatever whatever emote you deem appropriate? It did serve many many years. What they get? They got silence. Okay. Hmm. Well, someone be too greedy and just play the play the farmlands. Oh, I could have played Emperor instead. Oh my god. Just asleep at the wheel. I was so excited to get to on tap. I have my oldest sub besides my new one. I did pull the the what? The HD. So I can access stuff from it, but yeah. I think I uploaded all my downloads and random stuff I needed, but I only have one hard counter. But I should be able to find what I need. Do you greed here? Do you need like hidden strings plus slayer? Three mana, hidden strings, seven mana, leer, GG. It's one card. Didn't look like they had hidden strings last turn, right? Because they could have maybe gone for it. You get to untap four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana, eleven mana. Deluge plus Veto. And it seems so unlikely to have it. Could have Hidden Strings, Lands. I'm not, I'm, I'm debating whether I should pay the kicker to get two cards deeper. You know, I played it first, the hidden strings. I agree, I agree my play is conservative and most likely wrong. But my reasoning is that I'm going to see nine cards next turn. So the difference between nine cards and 11 cards is like not that big. The win comes for this matchup. Wandering Emperor. Also, if you can stick Narset, that can be really good because then you don't have to worry as much about poor. What's their win con? Mm, once they've used Granted, they have Leer and make play a bunch of charms. Maybe Peer kills me? I'm not sure. Just replay that. Yeah, at the Fairy Emblem, obviously, they don't care about. Man, not casting that Wandering Emperor was <laughs> such a huge font. I'd have, have like a two turn clock probably from now. I don't know, dude. I'm not a Lotus Field expert. Does the TCG player link still work? 
trusted marketplace looks like it you might run out of counter cell before you kill them because you haven't played amp mm. I, have, I have two two delvin's vetoes left should be enough i mean i get to see my entire deck and it's not like they have that many it's not like they have that many action spells Because I should let them pay, right? I guess I was thinking about hidden strings, but it also like the Vizier lines. I am running extremely bad on. I've drawn every sweeper. Veto and Dilute, I guess. Yeah, Vito is nice. Lear is scary though. He kept like a lane over March 10 turns ago. And I never ran out of lands. That was kind of loose, maybe. Did they actually drew Lear? Frustrating. They have silence. It's not the end of the world. Damn, I'm one mana short to have like bounce plus. And untap to recast it. Dude, I could have just played Farewell. <laughs> oh my god. Combi countered. Brittle. Oh, they're thinking about it at least. But it doesn't mean much. Man, not finding like. Yeah, I mean, I I kept I kept a land over March. That March here, I win. Can take a one hour timeout. The lesson is to be less stupid when you chat. I drew both Veridic, the farewell, the settle. Two of the lockdowns. Didn't see the second March in our set. I, mean, I guess I don't have that many irrelevant cards. Man, not keeping that March was really a spew. I guess I was thinking at more spot removal, but it's just like the one get lost and the two Marches. And if I keep March, then I can play the auto war out without having to worry about it too, too much. Uh, omniscience. I, mean, I guess I shouldn't give them omniscience, right? No, I didn't. I didn't plan for this matchup. I checked yesterday's challenge, and there was only two uh, lists, two people playing the deck. We really just published top thirty-two now. It did win yesterday, though. But I have the Narset in the main. The card's big in the matchup. I have the one Ash Shock. Tough? Not really. I mean, <clears throat> I kind of played scared the one turn. Probably ended up costing me. Didn't keep the march. That was also loose. I mean, I guess it was somewhat tough. Yeah, they have creatures. They have like. I can bring in Dragon Lords. To dispute and a silence. It's not like the scariest thing in the world. Just keeping one verdict. What does Dragon Lord Dramoka read already? You can march it, right? Can't be countered, can't cast spells on your turn. But I have the Proctors too. Not that bad of an in and out, honestly. I want to keep one verdict anyways in Moonlight Cycle. No bad cards left. No terrible cards left. Some consider all could be nice. Hey, Ted. What is up? Oh, that was an interesting land drop, but okay. Kind of supposed to try and counter uh
counter the impulse I think in the early game if you can. How do you feel about just not sideboarding Kahira? They didn't play it when I was tabbed down, so that means they're probably baiting. That's usually how they should be playing. That's how, if you watch someone like Rest play, who plays the deck a lot, he'll like always cast Impulse if I cycle there. If he, if he, if he wants it to resolve, and then if they don't care, they'll just cast it end of turn. Not Kahira, like not having Kahira at all. Seems kind of nice with Space I wonder if I sag the Lantern here. I have Galos for Lear. They have Balagids and stuff, though. I kind of have blue, blue, white, white. Is this version of Lotus strictly better than this Trick Proker version with white? I don't know. Proctor decks are usually good when Proctor itself is good, so maybe Proctor is not that great right now. It's an interesting spot. Wandering Emperor is important to pressure them. Pile of counters is also uh, pretty nice. I think I'm always casting a Deluge over Wandering Emperor, so I'm just going to take the land in the counter. Yeah, Proctor was like, he got some... They're trying to get to triple green. Clearly, for Charm. I mean, that's what Field of Runes are for, right? Literally. To get the stages. Don't I like Shark... Oh, I have, I have Citadel. I'm silly. Well, that makes it easy. It's much better, obviously. The one Citadel has been really good for me. It's like not punished me. Feel the Sanctum fizzled ability. It's better to just get the stage. This game could go long. They have triple green now. So if I tap out to get a Lotus. You might have been right though. It might have bought me the turn. And then I could have been in I could have tapped out here. Jaws just not doing that much without a Lotus here. Might be worth it to could just cycle the lantern. Keep the shark typhoon for Fred, but I have deluge anyways. Planes. Just insulated from field of runes. Is that lets me cycle my moonlight? It's kind of nice. Land drop is gas. Salut Psycho. Comcast spells on their turn. Okay. <clears throat> I'm never not just supposed to cast it there. It would have been kind of annoying if they cast it. Fish beat down? I don't know. Narset's reversal, there's Sylvan's crying. Seems like a good spot to use. No more lies. Yo, Spike, what's up? Is that like 0 01 drop the qualifier or something? Yeah. Quality of life, I love it. You'll get them next time. Oh, they have Lair. I guess if they Lair, I can make a Chum Blocker. Change or Veto. Does Change even counter that Veto doesn't counter? I guess Change is easier to cast. I 
feel like they can maybe scoop, depending on their hands. Got their head on time. It might be, might want me to make me go for the motions. Wait, what? Does that make sense? It's. Uh, not sure playing Tef here is the best. You think I say? I think it's going to come down to clock. It might. It might be bad for them, honestly. How much damage is that? Should I even use Teferi? That's commitment, not using Teferi here. I wonder if it's good for them in the long run. They have to combo me, right? Their combo takes a little while. Mm, not sure. All right, I'm going to take a quick break, catch my breath, I'll be right back. All right. Oh, it's a shitty hand. self mail basic forest. Outlanded by the by the twenty land deck, classic. I mean, obviously, I didn't have to keep that hand, but I don't know. Not like game. this. Not like this. Oh, why didn't I just jam Narset? What is wrong with me? Dude, I tunnel visioned. Oh, that really sucks. I didn't have Narset in my opening hand and I mean lose this to this few, whatever. I'm so far behind I need all like all help. Oh man, I would have I would have might have been fine honestly was uh with Narset in play here. Wow, what a punt. What a massive punt. Because, like, the Vizier cycles, like, they're, they're maybe casting a poor now. Yeah, I just, I just tunnel visions. 100%, you just slam Narset there when you're so far behind. Our sets, I think it might honestly look like they're casting pores and stuff. Maybe, maybe they drew good of that first vizier, too. Ah, oh, this match was so winnable. Game one mistakes were so silly. In this game, I would have been fine if I just drew some lands. What was in my hand? Like change. I mean, I had some some good cards. Also reversal. If I reversal like a charm, I think my hand's fine. Keep. Just could add like change and reversal and another cheap counter. The reversal can just ramp me. Imagine the same same game where I have like Narset, their same turn where I have Narset. Ah, brutal. Yeah, I mean, I would have won that game. 
I'd have auto war up probably. Alright, I've been my entire hand there. I mean, they would have had like a, such like a much worse turn. They would have had like a much worse turn. Like they could have, and they would have had to think. Oh, I'm so silly sometimes. Could have, I uh, could have reversed the march. Oh my god. And I guess it doesn't matter, but still was pretty bad. Yeah, of course they're winning in two minutes. They have. They have approach. It's fine. The left has got me covered. Dude, what a tilt. Oh, what a tilt that match was. Oh, playing against Phoenix. That's always fun. Bonjour. But then he yeah, speaks French. He's like half French, I think. Half French, half Greek. Or he, I met him in Amsterdam. Is then rip worth a side slot? I just... I like my memory deluge, I guess. I'm trying no rip. But to find out. But to find out if it's worth it or not. Yeah, he's super nice. Only he ever told me in on Twitch that he like spoke French and stuff. That's nice. Didn't get hit by the turn to shredder. I'll take it. Especially with my clunky hands. A little clunker of the hands. No prankster, no shredder. No good. Is it deck in standard? Wait, didn't JD win? Uh, wasn't that standard the blue red deck? Hmm. Here's a shredder. Is O Daniel a free? Uh... Free Islander or Two Islander kind of guy. Free Islander. One Hall, one Proft. One more, two Spell Pierce probably. Oh, the Prismar Command's pretty good in the control matchups too. I don't have to, always Delusion Hands. Some people play two islands, but I think I just need to let that resolve. I think most play free now. Most they've learned, they've learned their lesson. Unless controls that are like an all time low. Feels bad, man. I get to cast my first spell. Ping! One mana. Um, all right, I think I'll probably lose. If I don't do this, I'll just do it. If he has like second pierce into treasure cruise or something, oh well. I did pitch one to March, but I don't think he should let the deluge resolve. Seems kind of silly. And then he gets like a 2-4 and mails some phoenixes. He obviously just drew it to... What's better, this or a treasure cruise? Feels like almost better. Hey, his sounds just atrocious. Does that mean he thinks treasure cruise is better? Or is it just better sequencing if I don't have veto? Not sure. Ooh. Hello, pretty. Hello, you beaut. Could use a counter or removal spell. Ooh. I mean, March is nice against Hardcast Phoenix. <laughs> Look at that, it's a little greedy. Dispute in the main deck. If he's playing Dispute in his main deck, he can have it. Yeah, true. The cantrips are turned up by Narset. That's a good point. Okay, I have March. It's on tap two lands. I guess I can play Fountain Port. Might sound obvious, but I like my spot. Probably just play around Spell Pierce here. I'm just going to be drawing so many cards. I also get to cycle if he doesn't have Spell Pierce. Hmm. 
mean, I guess he's not going to spell pierce now, so I get to cycle, so it's not completely lost. Do you pitch? I don't think it's that tough of a spot. Just so hard for him to win from this point. Not on my watch. Yeah, not, not on my watch is all min-max when, you know, you have March and get lost and Elspeth Smite. It's like, I kind of like it though. Kind of like it. Like all cheaper against Phoenix and Shredder than a March can be. The Prowse creature can get more than free toughness easily. Um, what else? I could have countered that. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Not on my watch or... Yeah. Not on my watch kills a Crackling Drake after sideboards. Alright, let's not waste time. This game's pretty much over, I think. I have Fountain Point and, and Castle, so I was like, Halt's not that big of a deal. I would have played differently if I didn't have answers to a Hall. I'll just do that just because my hand's so strong. Can't really lose. To Fairy Alts next turn, and I have Moonlight and Fountain Port. <coughs> Stroke, negate, hearse, young pyro, break disputes, yeah. I want the easy game. <laughs> Knockout low, <laughs> kind of tempting. And the lockdowns are kind of nice too, I think. It's another reason why I don't want rest in peace. I think I'm actually keeping in some lockdowns in this matchup. Can cut get loss. There's just not much to cut though. Settles probably is a little too bad after sideboards. I don't love the marches either. They're pretty taxing. Maybe I'll just do free logdowns, honestly. Try it. It gets rid of prof too. Just thinking like that shock. I don't think it's good enough. Just eats too many too expensive. It's more for a Lotus and there's probably another silly deck or two where the no shuffle is pretty good. Maybe Nift to Light if you'll play that. Three steps ahead. I would cut Absorb, but this one you can maybe just cycle. Make some land drops. Change the equation gets better kind of drag. These cards are still nice. Our set's harder to protect, but probably still worth it. That is all ambitious, but and maybe I should have an extra Wandering Emperor. I keep Tev. I, I usually trim or cut Tev, but I feel like they don't really play around it. So I don't know. It's just the way the game plays out. Could be worse. Could be better, obviously, but don't want to mulligan against someone who has just... Tons of cheap counters, card advantage. Making land drops is nice. I also just, again, I might just get a Shredder. I might just get a Shredder. I have like Citadel plus a Gandra, just kind of, maybe if I Gandra is a Plains, I Mulligan. It's, I'd probably still keep knowing me, but. Uh, blue or white. Okay, that's two games in a row where he doesn't have turn to Prankster or turn to Shredder. Definitely nice. You could shock right away here. I mean, there's a world where I don't have to shock this game. There's a world where I get to play that tapped. Like next turn. Sometimes I just like to shock the land early just so I don't, I don't give away my hand. By shocking a later turn, if you know you're going to shock the land into play almost 100%. It does jam a Phoenix here. 
Tundra. Picking up Tundra, who won between Tundra and um and the other team? Mm, Tundra won. 2 0. Mm, definitely countering that since I don't have a Hollow Moonlight. No more lies gets Phoenix. Vito gets Treasure Cruise. Treasure Cruise not right away. It's close because I have a Genjo. He slams a Teferi without a, or te, a Phoenix without a land. I can go like I Genjo on Cap play Teferi. He would use no more lies. It's also better against Dispute if I use Vito now. That first Treasure Cruise is going to be like so important to counter. I think he can go either way. How many cards is he going to have? Four? He still has to tap out. You have to go to Fairy on tap, have a Gancho mana. It could be huge. And I can't counter a Phoenix or a... I think at this point I'm committed. Also the Exile is kind of nice. It might, you know... Treasure Crew is one, one, one more expensive. You like that line too, Adriano? Okay. Couple of these players like the line. Just mm. to go here. Yeah, countering that first Treasure Cruise is really nice. So using no more lies and trying to save Vito is. I don't want to use a Ganjo because I don't have another lands. And I'm just like using Wandering Emperor here. Could have taken the hit, maybe. <coughs> hmm. See what I have on top. Not Z worse. One, two, three, four, five, six. His treasure cruise right now is free mana. I think I'm gonna keep on top and say go. Could have done a lot of different things there. I could have definitely played the Tef. What's the point? Well, he gets to use a counter. It's one more card. It's Treasure Cruise, one cheaper. Yeah, maybe I should have played it. I don't know. It's close. Like, I knew I had, I, had, I had no more lies on top, so I knew I had seven lands to fairy plus no more lies, and then even if he deals with that, I still have like verdict plus to fairy maybe. They use negate for emperor, which is premium counter against blue white. Well, yeah, he could have, he could have disputes. I agree, it means he doesn't have spell pierce probably. Yeah. No, it, it was it was it was close, but maybe it's not maybe it was bad. No I think no more lies the props is really bad against a counter, right? He counters, he triggers Shredder, he draws. I don't know. How many islands? Not that many. I need to add like a verdict. Yeah, maybe I played scared and he only had one counter and the negates. I mean, he could have had that dispute, but yeah, maybe it was two tefs. I'd just go for it there. Mm, oh well. How many verdicts I have left? Just one.
we go to this G3. Thanks, Anayano. What about these G2? Oh, I didn't get to play Anchorage. Damn. Out of War are the Prankster. Yeah, no Cruise. No T Cruise. Ah, uh, he found T Cruise and another Prankster. That's like not a combo, right? With Phoenix. Not dead, dead yet. Can feel it's a third Phoenix on top of his deck. Probably I don't have a verdict left. So I'm not sure how I survive here. Oh, we do have Farewell and Settle. Did I keep both in? I don't remember. I did have like a couple outs on a settles in the board. They're also in the board. Mm. Settle better than for lockdown. Mm. On the play, I can mix it up. Do like Wandering Emperor, even some March. Farewell's all ambitious against all the cheap counters. I mean, sometimes the game devolves, and if I can make it to, like, the later turns, I think Settle, like, with Free Islands, just uses the mana too well. thought Settle was great against Phoenix. Mm. I don't know, it's just easy to counter, and they're usually going to get one or two lands out of it, and it's like a grindy, grindy day. Like, not every game is like this game, like, you get to the late game, and they bring back free Phoenix on turn 20, and you get all their Phoenix. Like, it's, I don't think that's how the games play out, really. It's like better game one cards. Farewell is tempting. If I'm keeping in both the fairies, you can just, so like, try to just jam down their throat. Like, Wandering Emperor is kind of awkward, too. It's okay to draw one sometimes, but... So, I'll, I'll try Farewell for Science. So, I'm keeping in both taps. I feel like it makes kind of sense. In some ways, you have a lot of expensive cards if you're going to have some. It's March. It's not great. It's clunky. Smite? I don't think Smite is good against Phoenix. Seems like very marginal. Can't really expect to get a Shredder with it. Not always. And then Phoenix, they can kill in response, especially in the main. I think it's your red-black decks. If they know you're on Smite, they can just like... 1-1. One -one. Yeah. They can just clone you and just pump their creatures pre, and then their creatures have four toughness. And dude, he drew two islands. Looks like he's really struggling on mana. Maybe I'm supposed to counter consider when he main fizzes there. Could be bait. Not sure how often it's bait though. He is stuck. No, no basic mountain. Petty theft. It's tempting to counter and and put him on all islands. Means like I don't have to worry about crackling Drake for a really long while. What are his red cards? He has like season power too sometimes. The one for smart command, just hard casting phoenixes too. I could just resolve a deluge now. Why is he going to punish it? Actually, that's really good, right? Why would I not do that? Ooh. Tricky. Pick the lands. No Crackling Drake. It's good for me. It's possible he's just playing around Verdict or something, but... 
Let's see if you could see my hand. He would slam a cracking Drake here. Really good news. I mean, one mana removal is good, but I'm playing lockdown over one of them all. Like, lockdown verdict catches you up. You don't need one mana removal as much when you're playing a bunch of sweepers. Probably just play portable hole. I mean, I guess you can't play portable hole in lockdown. But if I felt like you needed badly one mana removal, maybe portable hole is better than lockdown. It's better against Phoenix usually. All right, he drew like really, really terrible. Doesn't mean I'm going to win, but sometimes these games you're like, okay, you're feeling really good, and then Phoenix does Phoenix things and don't have a moonlight or anything. I'm kind of weak to just self milling Phoenix, bringing back Phoenix. A good matchup for us? No. It's like, I would say it's close, it's like close to 50 50 or. Depends a bit on the build. I'm I would I don't know like stuff. I haven't played it enough and recently. I'd like to think it's like okay for blue white. I have the like two moonlights and the settle in the main, which I think helps a lot game one. It's a big deal. I don't know, maybe it's all favored. I think it's dead for Phoenix. I think it's really close. I think I have pretty good builds. Yeah, exactly. Death. If I win against Daniel Lucas, it means it's good for Blue White. If I lose this game, it's bad. I could just do it now, honestly. I'm not sure what I'm playing around by not doing it now. Not like he's going to tap out. Dispute. I mean, if he disputes, pays free mana for dispute, I'm really happy. And then I can counter. And play it to fairy. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, he might have started double queuing. Damn, what two lost to Penseur. I thought thought control was back. This is like where things go downhill. I feel like you have to do that, and then it's like this, and then they have a full graveyard, and they get to untap and treasure cruise for cheap. Whereas if I don't do anything, he was stuck on land too, so it was like kind of sketch to even do anything. But I'm with Steph here, so you can just hard cast a Phoenix next turn. It's not even that good. Kind of sucks. I drew two two coming to play tap lands. Two peers, two disputes. Yeah, dude, if I don't do anything last turn, I'd probably just win. Out of like cycle, play Citadel. That was silly. I got just rusty. Could even just memory deluge here. That's that's bad against Spears on top of everything. I don't like just using my spells there to try and tab them out and stuff. You could also just have like any land Phoenix or something. That on counter. Could it be? Could it be the GG farewell? I have Deluge mana and no more lies. All right, I'll I'll make him work for it. Naughty. Thank you so much for. Zarisa Barino. This one says four years. Feels like longer than that, but who knows was COVID time.
That's five cards left. I'm at 11. Uh, this is so bad, though. Uh, I just go and slam an illusion to a spell pierce here. It's just too bad for words. Just illusion. I'll just verdict. It's fine. It's a decent verdict spot. Like, I'm not even dead right out of shape. If I do lose, he counters. I don't tap farewell. It's, he has four cards to my shitty cards to, like, normalize them. I don't like it. Good farewell plus normalize and lose to, like, two mana counter plus one mana counter. He would slam into spell pierce. I think it's bad. Yeah, time getting low is a reason to uh, to slam into spell pierce here. I also have a lot of good cards I can draw. I have a lot of good spells. Yeah, my lands do stuff too. Um, yeah, you could have just F6 too, the turn. I'll try that because yeah, does stuff like that though. He would an F6 when I have the illusion in the yard. I don't know why I did that. It was a good spot to farewell his board was normalized back up. Silly. Yeah, he, he brought back the Phoenix too. Dude, I'm gonna die with that delusion the yards, farewell in hand. It's just gonna be classic. It's gonna be vintage, vintage gabs. He's gonna have auto war eye, it's gonna be like max tail too. Okay, he doesn't have auto war mana anymore. Or is that not a not a phoenix? I mean... Three phoenixes in the yard and I'm at eight. And I have a farewell and a lockdown. Just crackling Drake my face, I guess. Crackling Drake attack. Dude. Ah, uh, brutal. That delusion the yard, that like. Dude, I'm the freaking worst. Ah, oh, the puns. The puns. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it was literally the only draw, and probably he had. He he also had to draw it like that turn. Whatever. Phoenix always has it all. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of what the deck does. Just has it. That wonder, that wonder emperor play was that that turn. That was probably the worst. You think you're like good and you can jam, and I I've made that mistake like twenty thousand times. Kind of embarrassing, especially when he's stuck on land. It's like the worst thing you can do. I mean, I did resolve Tef, I guess, and I draw like a couple of cards off it, but still.
UW control on a Sunday morning. Just what I need when catching up on work. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate your support. Welcome back. I'm glad I can help. Um, okay. Eda, no more lies. No more lies better against Deluge to some extent. I can just use no more lies anyways. Not sure why I kept Verdict over Settle. I was thinking it was better against Shark Typhoon tokens, potentially. Who knows if they even have Shark Typhoon? Okay, here in hand. I'd have done the same thing if I had an on tap land here, probably. Change the equation for Kahira. Get on time. Damn, I should have used a change. I drew another one. But it was a better art. I'll concede. Just trading companions. May I use two change to counter one wandering emperor? Does that work? I'm kind of legit loose because I didn't use change on Kahira. Dude, why didn't I do that in response? What is wrong with me? All right, tilt, tilt scoop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to say I'm rusty, but I feel like I say that a lot. I'm not sure it's a valid Patience excuse. Patience from Zoe, waiting in the wing. Navi is about to be caught. Oh, there's the sleep, the surge. He catches everyone. Oh, this could be a total disaster. Back him in. Ravage on everyone. The black hole as well. Right of Adam turns it around. Ravage as well. Stop. Stolen by Dendi. Are you kidding me? I don't know. Base, I might actually do something late in the game. I agree, Trail. Damn, I don't know, these these matches have been really fun and I don't know, I've been really enjoying these I wish I'd played a bit better. Not like this. Not like this. I'm excited though. I feel like blue light's pretty sweet right now. I've liked the deck and the list and the feel. Just need to execute a bit better. Just not on my match. What's not on my watch for it's just happy medium. It's cheaper than March in some spots. Kill stuff, some Elspeth Smite doesn't kill. I'm not sure what other people are gonna have in their sideboards. Well, that made my life really easy. Unless there some next level bait I'm not thinking of, but if they shock here, I can't really feel the room. I've got a floater. Someone called the police. UG channel just sent me LOL standard prep, etc. I click Ely money drafting. Um, I think I'm supposed to fight here. Because I'm kind of all set up. I've got my land drops, cheap counter, a castle. Speaking of, I play castle. 
In the field, I float. So I get to cast no more lies. It's good if I don't think they have disputes. But if they feel my castle and they have dispute, then it's kind of bad. What about now? Does it change anything? No. Reversal is not the greatest if they don't have dig free time, but probably good enough. And then dancing and then moonlight. All right, it's not missing a land drop. Use Anchorage. Probably gonna be good down the line anyways. Me castle, just one. Burn it. What you got? That is re it works well for me, right? If I reversal, or do I have to pay this free somehow? Does anyone know if I reversal my own free steps ahead? Is it a cancel? Copy target instant or search you spell, then return it to its owner. So you may choose new target for the copy. Seems like it should work, right? And I'm super screwed if it doesn't. It's modal. All right, that makes sense. I Narset's reversal was goaded. Huh. Bonjour. Right on time. Literally. Finally hitting my stride in the one two bracket. Where apparently all the other blue white players are also hanging out. Okay, let's use our cards. Make them use their mana. It's fine. Better than getting my deluge, no more lights. If anyone's looking to play modern, we need one more for the 12 p.m. modern prelim. Yeah, I should just drop. Yeah, one more. Do I cast one or an emperor? Make a token. I can march plus attack. I guess maybe I should have taken a land if I was not going to cast wandering emperor now. So I guess I'm happy to jam into anything at this point. That veto is nice. A little insurance. That's a good draw. Are you playing in modern norm? I don't have a ton of basics in my list. I'm guessing they don't have a million either, but how many vetoes, by the way? Just one? Just one veto gone? I can honestly just start attacking. Very bad against March. Have my own deletion in the yard. Hmm. Apparently Moda doesn't like surveil. I don't know how to play into their open mana, and if they have the last no more lie, it's gonna feel kind of bad too. Where did that come from? Ripping the veto. That's pretty reactive. They could catch up. That's pretty good for me now. From top, 
four eight. Don't want to play the illusion to dispute and not have mana to counter Wandering Emperor. That would be like freaking disaster. Been trying out Breach. Woodland is quite the upgrade. What kind of Breach? The Odrazi one or different different version? Grinding Breach. Woodland. Yep the yep the double double green for Woodland is worth it, really. Guess I could have hard cast here. Might just be better, honestly. Hmm. It's pretty bad against Tef. I think I'll hard cast though. I'm not gonna hard cast in the one two brackets. Probably pretty legit to hard cast here. March. That two two is a big deal. I do have to ferry minus, it's not as scary for me. I don't have a delusion the yard. Should really just keep two basics up here against Field of Ruin. I mean, I do have a basic island left, which means I actually con veto, but I don't think they would ever Field of Ruin my deserted beach into something there. I don't think it matters if they do. I'm just going to counter it. Gives me another token. No funny business. Yeah, I have basic planes left. Oh, okay, so I was like, fine, what I did. You know. Plus... It's kind of nice to have a march or get lost. Soul God Lantern. It feels like I'm clicking buttons right now. Don't don't ask me what's going on. I don't have an answer. I don't know why I kept that lantern on top. Make no sense. Okay, their last card in hand was not a dispute. I did try to throw. I, I'm doing my best. Making it all interesting. Pog. Pog Gap trying to throw. The next label play. The next label play. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Rask! <laughs> Fountain port over castle does all look good, really? I'm kind of happy with Fountain Port. It's like cheaper than Castle and it draws cards. I've been pretty happy with the Fountain Port. Face out. Face out over what already? Like a Farewell or something? A Sweeper? A Settle? What's the next best option? Ah, shock if you're ambitious. Maybe knockout was not the worst. Like opponent is struggling on the mana. They're playing some pretty sus slants for the early turn of the game. Oh, and port is gas though. Moonlight. It's really good against Phoenix. Kills a Flip Kumano, it's decent against Fable, it's good against Company, you can get a cat. It's kind of tough if they start making tokens here. Because if I Wandering Emperor and the Tef, it's like super losing for me. Okay, for some reason they did not, so that is good for me. No, I think I just play Wandering Emperor to just buy myself a turn, basically. It's fine. Blue Castle. I feel like Blue Castle is pretty bad because of um, because of Memory Deluge. 
you're playing four, maybe you lose the odds that you're gonna have time to activate a castle to scry is not as likely. Don't wanna add Kahira? No, I need to get rid of that fountain port. Could have maybe played the other field actually. No, they've made a fish. Do I just go base that no more lies here? Just get a 4 5 in play. I have 5 cards and I have 5. It's literally a 4 5. I, mean, I got nothing going on. Could wait a turn. I could put Kahira in my hands. You grew up with Nasifs in Ontario. Maybe you're related to them. There's a lot of Nasif out there, but. I'm probably related to them some, somehow, you know. I had family, I had an uncle um, who lived in Montreal. I, I had a bit of family, like, like close family in Montreal. I'm not sure I have, I'm not aware of close family in Ontario, though. Yeah, it's a really common Lebanese name. Not having four vetoes, a little scary in this matchup for sure. There was 10 of them at your school. Massive PRs. <laughs> you know what I, I thought about the other day? My friends used, sometimes they used to call me Nassifers. I don't know, they just added E-R-S -E again on my name because they thought it sounded funny. Not that far away. All right, we didn't see too many shark typhoons, so I guess this moonlight's getting cycled, and this sensor is getting cycled too. Ooh, that's actually a cantrip beso. Seems good. Yeah, I don't know. It was definitely was not me, Ted. Ted's just trying to. Uh... Who did I cast? I think they were playing my list from last time, probably. The one sensor, the moonlight, the one fountain port we've seen. Uh, is it my turn to get Narcissus reversals because I didn't keep field over in man up? Midweek metagame going. Glad you enjoy it. Dip cast two no more lies, so I could jam here. I will jam. Means they don't get to jam. Okay, we got a veto. That's big. Big if true. Oh, I could have played Kahira here. Oh, I already lost Kahira. I'm just say go in Deluge again. Daily MTG, nah, I gave up after like four apps. I just been doing other things with my free time. Uh, I'm probably gonna regret one day. Um, what? No? Yeah, I'll have dinner. I was definitely gonna regret not putting more work in when I had the magic thing going and. You know what? Deluge or Shark Token? I think Deluge just better, actually. All the goats in chat today. I don't know, there's just so many goats in my chat. It's hard to have a day where you don't have the goats in chat. From five minutes first, you got too fast to 30 plus. Yeah, but that was the point, trying to make something like, trying to make good videos, like quality content, and it just takes a lot of time. You know, you got too easily off script and that burn you right away. Yeah, maybe. All the goats. All good is relative, clearly, given how easily the, the term gets thrown away these days. 
Yeah, I mean, I agree. I don't know. I agree that maybe I could like bang them out in like 20 minutes and it would still be like good enough quality. Like people would just enjoy hearing me talk about this and that. Wait, why did my, where did my attack go? Oh, God, God. That was random. This classic clicking. Yeah, they even have the knot on my watch. Just, just noticed that. Uh, what do they have? Four, eight. That's oh, sunken citadel. It's gonna be gas. One, two. Well, it's the it's the gap for your bracket, really. No, I agree, Vian. Yeah, maybe I should just do like lower quality, just me talking in front of the camera about this and that for like 10 minutes a day. See if, even if it's not like super high quality. Blue black control not playable anymore. It's probably okay. I think blue white's probably in a better spot against all the, the white aggressive decks though. Fish in the game, me. Damn, look who's back. You can retire G Champ now. OMG, hi, hi. OMG, XD, ding, XD, D, X, I, N, G. I like a G Champ trying to talk to like the, the youngsters. Glad to see you're on top of the XDD mode game. You'll love to see it. Okay, what's the deal here? Two Vito's gone. You like the YouTube? Wish more people like the YouTube. My YouTube doesn't do super well. Also, I don't put like a lot of effort in, in it, obviously. Let's do a modest 4 4. Vetoing a get lost. Classic, classic late game blue white mirror plays. And you're just desperate to keep a creature in play. Yeah, now my YouTube does. I, I do very little to help my editor though. Not even that I can doing like a quick and trend deck deck like Mangu does. I think the pace of my play is just probably way too slow for most people who watch YouTube. Yeah, there was a one dispute out in my sideboard the other day. Except two minutes left with the fairy triggers, they're doomed. Maybe I'm doomed because now I have to play Teferi and start doing stuff. I don't know, they even just straight up lose Teferi to my uh to my anchorage. Just vintage Nassifars holding up the whole tournament in the O2 bracket. Yeah, the one citadel has been kind of good at, except that one game against Daniel Akos where feels like maybe it cost me the game to not have the extra on tap land and be able to keep my auto aura. All fish battles. Let's try to keep a balance of staying ahead on time while not just losing the game. Gotta copy that fish. I I'm really low on time. Can you put it on the floor, please? Thanks. What do you want me to do, Caroline? 
Liz just plotting was my opener and trying to get me to time out. Tapped man out and tapped Jover. Five seconds burned. Are we the last match? I'm always ahead of my opponents. And they're the one never scooping a lot completely lost games. Just saying. I'd just like to point that out to all the haters. They can win. They're behind on time. Major cringe moment, yeah. Dude, I was going to ultimate Teferi and start exiling permanence. Major cringe. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, Giganta, red deck. First red deck today. Sounds... I keep. Not great, but... Okay. Can draw into the goods. A couple lands or a land in a lockdown. You're back, you my open on Zidonia. Oh, by the way, I completely forgot. I I six won the best of one qualifier was Jose's Necro list. It was good. <laughs> the only game I lost was when I drew down to one life. I drew 15 cards. And I didn't find a march in my top, like, 20-something cards. And died. I thought your name's in the, like, it's like the bottom super qualifier I was living in. Nice. Yeah, you, you, you top eight a challenge, right, yesterday? This weekend. Moonlight. Not sure it's going to be good enough, but... Whether between Blend Draw with Blue Eyes and Abysmal? I doubt it. I doubt Pioneer is, like, hugely affected by Play Draw. I could be wrong, but... Like, Lockdown... Lockdown's really good at catching you up. In a matchup like that, for instance. Well, I mean, I'm gonna take a beating, but I can't do anything about it, so might as well. Oh, you got nines. Hmm. Necro is such a good card. Why didn't he play when it was first printed? The three cards left. Should I actually like. Does it make sense to counter that? Then we have a ghost or a chat. They're pretending to think about it. Only people who ghost would do that. No one never does that. The dude chose 2-2 two, 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 two playing for pennies. The guy chose uh Pennies and EV. Playing around a card no one plays, literally. Playing around nothing in the format. Unbelievable. The genius of Gabriel Nassif. Dude, it's just so unreal. Literally, they're playing against one of none on my watch that people don't even play in blue white. Okay, um... I don't have a hand hider right now because wait maybe I do browse where did I put the hand hider I'm asking I'm asking him what card they're playing around by not attacking curious dude it's just so unreal literal two two bracket guy's willing to just Attack into it with open deck list, probably, yeah. Also, I like the... He think he's so clever by pretending he's hesitating and it's a tough decision. He thinks it makes it like... He think he's so five heads. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do have Settle in my deck. Surely he's not gonna attack with everyone.
All right, who should we get? I thought that was good to hero. Yo, and R. All right, Vito's out. Moonlight out, even though against a triple Kamana draw, it could be good. Our set might be okay. What else was I boarding out? The Tefs could be okay too. I'm gonna trim a Tef, and then what's the last card? Fairy out. Fairy on our set. Yeah, the sick part is he probably wins if he doesn't do that. He might have still won, honestly. Because my hand was all clunky and I didn't have a sweeper and his draw was just great. Why don't you go to the other door? What happened? Bunan did the most, like, shameless ghosting you've ever seen in your life. He's not responding. <laughs> I'm going off. I usually don't go off on ghosters, but... Oh, you can't see. I was like, please don't forget to drop a sub. And then I was like, what card are you playing around by not attacking? And then I asked him if he wasn't scared of Settle the Wreckage now on turn four. And then I asked him if he's really willing to cheat in the 2 2 bracket for literal pennies in EV. He hasn't been answering. Liga Magic Bolts. Just so sad. I mean, maybe it's just like Lichol needs the money to feed his family. I hope so. I, w I would, I would like, you know, I guess I'd be okay with it. <clears throat> Isn't that account from the Liga Magic Twitch channel? I don't know. Whoa, select God, easy, my friend. It's a team account, I would report it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if... I, I, I don't know, I don't know if I can be bothered, but... <clears throat> Are team accounts even legal under the user agreement? I don't know, maybe you have a special... Uh... Not sure. Something more profitable than playing MTG. I mean, MTG is pretty profitable if you're good at it and you live in countries where the wages are extremely low. You miss some chat drama. Well, that opening is ghosting and someone made kind of a bad generalization. Uh, so I'm at 12 and they're at 11. So my base set doesn't even like gain life right now. Or it draws me a card or anything, no way. That's all this verdict. Yeah, can you uh, just. I don't know about a ban. I feel like just time them out for a few days. I'm not a fan of like. Just a band there, but I don't know. Maybe I'm too lenient. I like this. I mean, it's like not. It's not like he like. Good band. Mm. All right, they're down to no cards. Base I should buy me a bit of time. Thoughtsies, thoughtsies have been really good out of the sideboard for my opponents. That's how I lost the other day. Thoughtsies are canist. Full Wars and Tef here. Damn it. They saw it's Jover. Actually, that was bad. It's bad against Thoughtseize. That's silly. That was greedy. Yeah, it's probably fine, actually. You draw Thoughtseize are just dead. I'm the one who's being silly. Oh, wait, with Narset Dilly, she get to know what card I take. I'm being doubly silly. You know, but the Wandering Emperor and Knockout Blow. Yeah, select. You should just not insult people and. Hmm. Uh... 
racist yeah i don't know about racist more than like i think racist is the right word Yeah, I just cultural generalization too. Dude, unbelievable. Oh wait, I don't have the hand hider on anymore. <laughs> I was trying to bait chat. <laughs> I'm such a... <laughs> I was trying to pretend I didn't. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it was like xenophobic more than racist. Just cultural gen... I don't know. I've heard a few times about some culture saying like, literally, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Kind of a genius of Gabriel mentality. Chief. Like almost like growing up. That'd be NASCAR. Is that what they're doing? NASCAR. <laughs> I don't have the. I don't have the ref, the culture reference. All right, take a quick look, chat. Someone can be, no, I agree. I just feel like, unless they have a history of chat, like one time offense and people get heated on the internet. What are your thoughts on the EGA deck? I don't know, I've played against it once with Nev and that's the extent of it. Maybe their mouse just got really buggy and they were trying to attack. And it just kept clicking and it just something went wrong you know you never know it could be could be just unfortunate coincidence every team tries to cheat in nascar finding the loophole is part of the sport okay oh, they have two cards left i guess i will choose my no more lies is liga magic bolt streaming right now no. Scribe to the bottom. How much damage is that? A lot. New desktop, by the way. Can't handle magic online. I wonder if it's my internet or just magic online. Just so heinous. Surely it's not my new desktop, right? Oh, the servers. Damn daybreak. The last card is this. Man, this has been brutal. Faisa, one time. Dude, that's so unreal. Dude, it's actually unreal. I drew a blowout and they drew the first Thoughtsies. Why is that justice? He'll keep. Wow. Oh, it's Phoenix. I was going to say Control Mirror. Great keep. Kind of a decent hand against Phoenix. Lands. Let's go. I guess I'm not repping anything. Just going to play Tap Howard Fountain. Stuck on lands. Should I just use field on their upkeep? Probably. Should I at least pretend I'm trying? I don't think I'm really helping them out there, but maybe. They got a lightning axe. And they're getting unlucky on their. Uh... See, Phoenix matchups just great. I'm going to win this game very easily. 
Apparently the Phoenix players forgot to put Lancer in their deck today. Discard Phoenix to hand size. And they never have the second spell pierce either. I learned my lesson. Now I see the spot's a little different than last time, but I'll probably scoop here. Especially in the two free brackets. Yeah. Alright. So what did we say? Keep one lockdown. Keep all the expensive stuff. Cut get loss, cut a march. I'm not gonna cut sensor because I think my deck's all short on land, so I don't want to cut the cheap cycling card, even though it's marginal. What was my last cut last time? I think I cut the wreckage. I'll try not cutting the wreckage. Plus they had two storms. Sometimes people who play two halls only have two basics. Cut the fairy. I wanna try keeping the fairy. I usually try more cut to fairy, but three steps ahead. Um, three steps ahead is fine. Sometimes you, they play draw going the early turns of the game, and just draw two discard one is Ashok. Nah, I think Ashok's not that great against Phoenix. Too expensive. Let's cut the farewell and keep the two taps. Think taps better than farewell overall. Pretty cool hands. Cheap removal, lands in Deluge. No counters though. Why don't I like Spell Pierce and Pioneer Control decks? Because I think just Vito is just going to be better overall, basically. I've played with Spell Pierce. Every time I've played with Spell Pierce, I just wish I had Vito's or Negate instead. I see not 100% of the time. There's one player of VFS who just plays blue white with four spell pierce, but uh, that's not been my experience. And, you know, makes sense, right? You have your games go long, so your spell pierce is going to go dead a lot. Spell snare. It's not pioneer legal. Do I let them have. I'm gonna have to verdict on turn four anyways. I'll save my cards. Grindy matchup. And crackling Drake scary cards. Would you play spell snare in Pioneer? Probably. It's great against Phoenix. It's good against Lotus Field. Yeah, you you would probably play a lot of. I mean, the mana would be a little weird, but you'd probably play like at least two. Not to guess. So you're on Shark Typhoon. <laughs> Get against them. <laughs> oh, maybe it makes sense to like do anything but verdict here. Just just too much damage piling up. Sometimes some matchup you want to like try and deluge first, take damage, and then sweep. Uh, two Phoenix in the yard. But they did break at least. They did break, but it might be two Phoenix in the yard might be better. Yeah, but then it'll let you just cast recall. What do you mean recall just for Gab? Not on my watch, little Phoenix. But Gab, why? Why don't you play Outfit Smite? Alright, didn't matter. The one extra mana didn't matter. Let's see how awkward March would be here. Or get lost. It would just be like awful for me. That's why I didn't want to overload on these cards. Hmm. They have all mana next turn. What a menace these halls are. Another T cruise. 
Yeah, apparently not everyone goes in the X2 bracket, X3 bracket. Shocking, I know. Oh, Diana is 5 0. Bermuda is 6 0. Damn, the OHP haven't played a single counter spell. I'm not sure that's correct. I feel like I'm just going to lose if I don't counter that. Phoenix usually finds ways to win. That's seven. Shark Typhoon is the best way to keep me alive. But means I go down to two. And then Sting is lethal. I mean, I'm just super dead here. That's the hand. That could be nice. I'm praying where Emperor in response to Cruz. I think maybe I was actually supposed to take a chance and kind of damn if I do, damn if I don't. Maybe you just let the treasure cruise resolve there because board matters more and four four sharks kind of gas. Double field of rune. Kind of again owned by Young Pyro. They mailed a slide and now they're playing a slide sorcery speed. Let's see what happens. If I counter this. Our power, yeah, they played it in game two. Oh, yeah, and floats. Wait, what? They only have one island in their deck? <laughs> oh, that's silly. I mean, I, I saw two hull. I figured they might only have two islands because they have two hulls, but I didn't expect the one island. Yeah, I made up the second in hand they didn't want to play it, so it in like Field of Rune. Hey Claudio, do you know who who's Liga Magic Bots? Bolts? Liga Magic Bolts, do you know that account? Oh, I'm not gonna make the same mistake as earlier. Pretty sure he was ghosting last round. I mean, you can go and look and make an opinion for yourself, but it was game one, turn two of game one, or turn three of game one. I mean, a coincidence is possible, obviously, but yeah, I think this is like not even good. To, well, I guess it does have flashback next turn. That's probably fine to play it, but. You're part of the team you left last month. Well, I don't know. Maybe go look and tell me what you think about this the the spot, but it was kind of fairly blatant. And our side was Vito. I don't know. Thing is, I think that's how you end up losing these spots. Like that's kind of what happened when I played Wandering Emperor the last against so Daniela Cus you. You think you're good, and then they have like free. T you're like, well, it only backfires if they have triple cheap counter spell, and then they do, and then you wondered where it all went wrong. But obviously, it's kind of a fine line. I mean, I think this game is is probably just really silly, like just because I strip mined them twice. Did you check the VAD yet, Claudio? Yeah, they only played two basics and they had both in hands. This is like where my line is all silly though, because now I'm like using vetoes on treasure crews when I just shut the door with Narsets. But he missed a land drop. I'm so confused. No?
think he misclicked, like not getting the lands. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Nice star set I have though. Okay, if I win the game, I played it right. I'm gonna sandbag the Narset into my grave. I just might. Especially now that I drew a memory deluge. Or I mean another field of ruin. Or not playing Narset. I don't know, I'm just playing around counter spells. Just playing around getting out tempoed. But it's probably just I I probably pushed it a little too far. I don't know. I don't know when you're, supposed to, when you're supposed to jam or not against Phoenix. I've only played that matchup like hundreds of times at this point. <clears throat> Sorry, Anchorage. Dude, this is kind of embarrassing. I don't know. <clears throat> Right. that shroom. Hard guest. The time. I don't think it's ever time. Be topped. Must be auto war off. What else would you top there? I think that this game's like even remotely close. Try sure, strip mine them three times. Better than strip mine. <sighs> See, just an atrocious matchup. I mean, to be fair, I also like would have played differently if I felt more pressured. So you could you could argue that. Could have gotten desperate and make more yellow plays and be fine and stuff. How do you get the round and game tracker at the bottom of your stream? The the round six game free thing tracker? It's um MTG bots. It's called a widget. It's um you add a browser. In OBS, and then uh, yeah, just that. I mean, I can tell you exactly what to do if you're trying to get it installed or stuff. How do you take your not on my watch and have two cards, tons of lands, bunch of cheap creatures? Or just a sensor cycle classic. Control. I like my list, honestly. I haven't been doing great today, but maybe you'll play better than me. Alright, I guess I'll just take the 8 here, or the 10. Damn, it's pretty relevant when you have these two and Phoenix and stuff, but I don't know. I should have just baited the counter, clearly. We know they're out of basics. Been a big fan of the one settle for a long time now. It's been good to me overall. Pretty good meta for it too. There's not a ton of like utility utility creature decks like food and sack and decks are not super popular. Moto plays making me tap Brutal, the twice. Savage wrecked. The mana twice. But on their part, not playing around Settle? No. It's not a card everyone plays. Most of these don't play Settle. I mean, not everyone can be a five heads pro player like our last round opening and play around the turn the turn two no not on my watch, you know. The turn two one of not on my watch. Yeah, I just got solar red. I'm just I'm just I'm just bitter. I'm just bitter because I get I got solar reds. 
got stole right on the internet. What can I say? They beat me, they must be cheating. Did you go, did you check the spot yet, Claudio? Isn't it like just so ridiculous? It was yeah, it was the pre I think it was the previous round. What are we round five? Oh no, we're round six. Two, yeah, we're in the two two bracket. Yeah, it was it was round five. Alright, GG's. Wow, the perfect hand does exist actually. Oh pretty good hand against Waste Knot. Lockdown deals with Waste Knot. Veto Deluge. They took Veto. What do they have that they took Veto? Not our thought piece, a go blank. Make me tap out for a lockdown. I think they're boring. Can't say I'm especially impressed. I'll bite. We should just play for eliminations. Over memory the illusion, you think? We've been we've been wrong. We've been wrong that whole time. Oops, forgot I could attack. You'd sell like a couple deluge. Glimmer of genius, Gearhulk. Quickly make another two two before they change their minds. Don't better triumph me. I even have like edict and do you even play bitter triumph or edict or both? No. Alright. The fairy, you did what you could. Alright, not on my watch. A little worse than uh I will say a little worse than uh than a march or get lost here probably. I don't know what was playing. I mean either blue white or blue black. No lands? Damn. Brutal. I guess I won't be too greedy and uh I guess I should have attacked first, that was silly. No lands here is so brutal. I mean I had a good hand, so I might be okay, but Why did I cut the deuce? Because I decided there was no time for the deuce, that I'd rather play more lands and more memory deluge and not waste time on casting the deuce. Also, lock down the deuce is kind of a non bow. Do you block here or do you let it go? I guess it literally kills a Shelly. Well, maybe not on my watch will be good. Lands? Hmm. Just accept. I, 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 I'll allow. I'll allow it. Wow. Cling? Oh. Brutal. Thought I had it. That cling is nasty because these games could go long. I'll keep as many deluge as you give me. The GG pilot. GG. A token pilot creature. No! All the graveyard hate. How am I supposed to get card advantage? This is terrible. All right, Tef, it's you and me, buddy. Just like in the good old days. Change equation was somewhat tempting.
Yes, we get it. You like to exalt cards in my graveyard one at a time. All right, what's going on here? They're sending two at Tef. Our set. Tef, Narset. Two at Narset, one at Tef. I mean, I could try and save Narsets. I could save it all. I could let go Narset. I could let Teferi go down to two counters as well. Yeah, I'm on Kahira. I mean, I think they're all gray lines. It's like... Our set is pretty tempting against Cat. I, I think I can probably protect the fairy. Just ultimate the fairy. Cling in the yard and trespasser. I mean, maybe I'm supposed to kill them all. I keep Narset in play. I get a card back from Narset. Yeah, cling in the yard. They can pallet a bangbuster. I'll let them have it. They take the get lost. So be it. No three cards left. And I have one March left in my deck. Alright. I mean surely I'm far ahead enough I'm far enough ahead that I need to actually ultimate the fairy here. Or am I? I thought of Anchorage too, but don't they play Fatal Push? All right, they have cling, but let's not be silly. Let's play Deluge anyways. <clears throat> no more lies on cling could be good. Yeah, I guess. Could have been. I have Kahira too. How many basics I have? One? I have one basic left. Could be annoying. Could add up. Um, so it's free from the top, so I have to strip myself, strip mine myself right away. I don't know. Is it night or day? Has anyone been keeping track? Oh, I forgot about Kahira. Reminded myself last turn. Forgot. Classic. Nice. Go. Do I even care about Archfiend? Is it lethal? There's a name. Oh, yeah, there's the day right here. Yeah, it's strategically positioned between my lands and my permanents. No! Not the Aetherborn. All right, we got game one. They were no waste not. They were just Aetherborn, kind of, instead of waste not. Still gonna have, like, piles of go blank. And they had Shelly and a bunch of removal and bang busters. Base house probably gonna be nice against the discard grindy deck. The problem is gonna be what's bad against them. Settle can go... Kellos can Kellos can probably go. Moonlight can go. Not on my watch could be okay. Ancient Vetoes could be okay. I guess that won't do verdict and Vesa. Let's just try Vesa. Our set was good, so hard to protect. They have non-boys with lockdown. Dark Typhoon. Dark Typhoon Lockdown. I guess Gale Loss is good with my Lockdowns and my Basel. 
Maybe I don't need four. We might, yeah, it's been somewhat stuck in blue white, blue white lists. You just need something in Phoenix to be able to win game ones that's not embarrassing against other decks. I could draw a lot of lands. You could go to five. Not sure what's more likely to win. I have Bang Buster if they took March. Or I guess March is a card I could cast even if I don't draw lands. So maybe it doesn't mean they have Bang Buster. I'm gonna do. Well, I get to play the game. I might be way too far behind already to have a chance, but I think I just have to counter that even if it's not a good spell, because if I don't, they're just going to say go and draw cards and they get ahead on the boards and it's going to be tough, especially if they have Invoke Despair. They didn't play them in game one, but maybe they have some in their sideboards. Then it's like extra hard to turn the corner. I just noticed that black mana. Nice. Great. Very great. What did I not take? Veto? I mean, obviously I would have taken the land there if there was a land. Taking second emperor over Veto is, seems kind of fine. Invoke, yeah, I mean I can't beat I can't beat Invoke. I can't I can't do much. Just because I hope they don't have that card in their deck, even though I don't know why they wouldn't have Invoke in their black midrange deck. Well, their draw just fell flat. No bang buster. Ether ball in bad against control. Wow, they have fatal push. Ether Bone's probably better than Fatal Push. Even though against the Lockdown deck, maybe Push is better. In some ways, I don't know. Alright, might as well take the damage. Not super relevant. I mean, it's kind of all card against Hive. Then they get to attack was. I guess I can make. I can maybe just make. I'll just make two two twos. But you're gonna have bitter triumph. Edict. Maybe I'm supposed to just not play it. Yeah, that was that was horrendous. And I just attacked first. Oh my god. Relax gab, deep breaths. Gonna be okay. Minus minus four life. Take W. Do you get the treasure? Alright, not the worst spot for mulliganing to six and keeping a one lander. Game could have definitely gone much worse. It's a bit awkward of a draw. I don't want to chomp. Feels like it gives away my hand if I chomp here. I didn't think that for life would be that big of a deal, but wouldn't mind it right now. Not a bad use of my no more lies, I'll take it. Yeah, that's bad. Red chain also bad. Oof. As a draw, 
they're saying they're saying there's a chance not much of a chance but chance nonetheless could just draw a base out All right, I think I'm bringing the Shark Typhoons in the fourth base cell. Okay. Now we need a Field of Ruin. Easy. Do I just need an untapped land, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not going to take an untapped land. I'm just dead if they draw an untapped land. I oh, don't know, I'm just dead. Oh, I have to let them attack. Because if I do it before attack, it just activate the other one. So I lose my deluge anyways. So I was not supposed to take the untap plans. That was silly. I mean, it could, it could, could come up. Could help me go like delusion to wandering emperor or something. Streamer lock. Yeah, I'm doing really good here. I think I might as well do it. Just fence my deck. All right, they can just crew if I don't do it right away. Man, that land I kept, and the on that land I kept instead of being an anchorage or something. Could have been good. All right, now I need them to have Invoke Despair. Yeah, calm die, but also can't win. Fine, I'll get them in game free. I think this matchup's fine. Aklazots. Yeah, I want all my two for ones, basically. Somehow, we didn't see a go blank or an invoke despair. Apparently, they have go blank and invoke despair, right? Cut get lost. I think they would have thought distortion. That would be kind of extreme. I'm never, well, not never, but. I'm trim a lockdown on the play. I could maybe just do two lockdowns. Let's try that. Don't have to worry as much about Bangbuster when I'm on the play. Solid hand. Good start, anyways. They're mulliganing. Games goes very long. Yeah, but they're they're good at ripping your, your hand apart. So by the time they get to six mana, you might not even have that many cards left. Mm, I'll cycle. Easy. Don't have to decide. I don't think I would have played the base up, but... Kind of sucks not to play it too. All right, Field of Rune is your beauty. And then Change is pretty good. Or just Archive. I feel like I can't go too, ra too wrong with a Surveil Land. Snap. Snap, Land, Draw. I don't mind it though. Making making land drops in these games is nice. Farewell. It might be time for a friend here. Figure it I wanted to be able to Field of Rune plus F Counterspell mana up. Play faster, yeah, probably. 
Could reversal that, but I don't think I care that much. Why did I get blue mana have reversal in hand? What's wrong with me? Oh, last well, game of the day, I guess. I'll blame it on the that. Don't know. That's pretty great. Draw that Wandering Emperor. Nice. I can get their hive. Might be tricky though. All uh, all that life they've been gaining might actually make the difference. Do you have Kihiro? Need a Typhoon. Mm, Wandering Emperor kills really fast. I think I'll be okay. Just countering every spell they cast and using Wandering Emperor. Could save it, but... Monkey says, what's Nassif win Nassif's win condition? You, my friend, person. must not know what Yellow Hat very well. This is not a guy who brings win conditions. Oh, you know what I can do? I can bounce my... I don't know why I played that land, though. That's silly. I guess I can discard that no more lives. It's not going to be that good, but... It's reversal for... The res go blank... Maybe invoke despair. Just blanked and didn't realize he had to wonder before. I don't think it would have mattered, right? Okay, four, five, four, four, I'll take it. Read Duke, I don't know, I don't have my sounds on. But yeah, if it was the win con. If it was the win con thing. I wondering wondering Emperor kills pretty fast. I'm with <laughs> <laughs> Just pointing out, fun and like playing out an unwinnable game, trying to time me out. Don't blame me. No, I've been eliminated. But I made top 32. Ooh, Adriana made top 8, and Waffle made top 8. You got nines.